I'll s start with the first part of the question, then any risk to the space station. We, we specifically looked at this um, sequence that's, that's there in the software anyway to, to use it to mitigate any risk to the space station. Uh, the first thing that happens when with uh, the hooks drive on the NASA docking system is there's a couple of springs that kind of push the vehicle away so it will immediately have clearance. You know, we've hot fired the thrusters. We hot fired um, 27 of the 28 thrusters. It's probably been like four weeks ago now. The thrusters all performed well. So we expect to get the delta V we need out of those thrusters. Uh, these are what we would call um, short pulses, but not frequent pulses where we saw the heating before. So we really don't anticipate the same kind of effects that we saw that caused the poppet swelling. Uh, these are longer firings in general, and there's more cooling with those firings. So we don't really uh, expect uh, any issues with the thrusters near station. Um, and then we get away very quickly, and once we're on that trajectory, we're, we're safe from the space station. Um, really, the thrusters on the service module, uh, the next big job they have is to hold the attitude uh, while the, the big OMAX fires. Anthony said it's about a 60-second deorbit burn, and that's the critical thing that, that needs to happen to get the, the crew module on a safe trajectory uh, to enter into the atmosphere and then land at White Sands. There's good redundancy in those thrusters, as I talked about. We've got four thrusters in each direction, so we expect that to go well. And then uh, the SEP sequence again, where the, the crew module and service module separate, and then the, the service module goes into a disposal mode. Those are four thrusters as well, which are, which are healthy. So uh, we anticipate a, a good burn, and we have a lot of redundancy, and that's what we're relying on to have a safe entry.